In 1952, Norman Rockwell painted his first presidential candidate. The subject was Dwight Eisenhower. Rockwell was captivated by his character, warmth, and authenticity. He said, right off, I knew he was going to be a good model. What helped was Ike's wide range of expression, which Rockwell captured in an article he wrote about meeting the candidate. He concluded that he'd become an Eisenhower worshiper. By the 1956 election, the Post editors decided Rockwell should paint both parties' candidates. Again, Rockwell found Eisenhower a gracious and relaxed subject. He also painted the Democratic contender, Adlai Stevenson, who he found very likable and charming. In 1960, when Rockwell painted presidential candidate John Kennedy, he suggested a pose that didn't emphasize the fact that Kennedy was only 43 years old. He was very handsome, Rockwell said, and easy to do, full of youth and vigor. His expression was just what I wanted, serious with a certain dignity, but relaxed and pleasant, not hard. Then it was Richard Nixon's turn. According to Rockwell, Nixon was the hardest man he ever had to paint because he was almost good looking, but he added, he's got a mean eye and then he has those big chestnuts in his jowls. By 1964, Rockwell was working for Look Magazine and again painting the candidates. He found Lyndon Johnson impatient and abrupt. Asked for an hour's sitting, Johnson told Rockwell he could have 20 minutes and to get cracking. I decided to do the best I could, Rockwell remembered, but he was just sitting there glowering at me. Trying to get him to loosen up, he said, Mr. President, I've just done Barry Goldwater's portrait, and he gave me a wonderful grin. I wish you would do the same. Johnson tried, but Rockwell felt it was a forced smile. He said, like he was competing for the Miss America title. During the 1968 campaign, Johnson suddenly dropped out of the race. And since the Democrats hadn't yet chosen their candidate, Rockwell did portraits of Eugene McCarthy, Hubert Humphrey, and Robert Kennedy. Again, he found it a challenge to paint Nixon, the Republicans' candidate. He improved on some of Nixon's less flattering features, slimming his cheeks and giving him more hair. But, he said, there was that nose. It's hell to paint and to keep it from dominating too much. But when Nixon smiled, he added, he was just about as warm and friendly as the father of two pretty daughters could be. Rockwell was not a one-party man. He said, I was born and raised a Republican, but then I voted for Harding and got pretty discouraged. Now I'm not rigid either way. He never said anything critical of the candidates, but he probably had some insight into their character. He said, I am no politician and certainly no statesman, but I have painted thousands of people and I should by now be a judge of what their faces say about what they are. This video was brought to you by the Saturday Evening Post Digital Archives. Saturday Evening Post members can explore our 200-year-old archive for only $15 a year. Subscribe today.